Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Libra Sun Moon and Rising, a weekly tower reading April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, bear with me, guys, a second to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. And see what, what you are to face throughout the week. So uh, the first card, which is the topic of your week, Libras, that is going to be the Five of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Moon card. After that, what we do have, it is the positive out outlook of the week, or rather like the, the positive things that you can go for throughout the week, that is going to be the uh, Queen of Pentacles. And the last card that is to be the guidance that the tarot is offering to you, we do have the Hierophant. So, um, once again, Five of Swords is the first one, followed by uh, the Moon card, which is the second, that is the challenges that you need to overcome, Libras. After that, we do have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect of the week. And the last one that is to be the Hierophant, and that is the... Um, guidance that Tara is offering to you. So a uh, rather difficult reading is what we do have here. Uh, the first couple of cards that are coming up in the spread, the topic and the challenge, I kind of like, uh, gives them an impression that this week you are to be rather frantic. Uh, to a point, uh, the reason for that it is residing with the Moon card, it's because uh, the Moon card generally breeds an insecurity. And it kind of points or rather like manifests itself where one starts to um, have that sensation that things one thought are rock solid actually turning out to be rather fragile. But yet the moon card is emotional and it's sub and it's subconscious card as well. So here the challenge itself resides into that. Well, for the most for most of you, that is, is that you are making it up. All right, so it's not real, should I say that way? I mean, the things or these um, these enterprises are not fragile. It is just you think that they're fragile, probably because you do have a lot to lose if things does not happen for you. But uh, nonetheless, we're going uh, for a more profound um, explanation of each card. So the first one that is to be the topic, and we do have the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords could manifest in many ways. Uh, generally speaking, the Five of Swords is when one is misusing their power in one, in one or another way. That could be you misusing your power over other people or other people could misuse their power upon you. In a sense, for example, is that your boss is oppressing you, uh, your husband or your wife is oppressing you, and so on and so forth, like misusing their power. Additionally to that, the five of uh, the five of swords could stand for that one's being humiliated, and um, that could be the 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 provocation 
you do need to think that your enterprises are rather like, you know, very fragile rather than rock solid. But with the Five of Swords, when we do have that card as a general topic, one should be, uh, one should start to think very carefully, you know, who, uh, who one's friends are or who thine friends are, all right? Because with the Five of Swords, there is a, um, a big chance that one is placing, um, great hopes into people that does that does not deserve those hopes and finally the five of swords it is the card of limitations in the sense of that um one should be very accurate for how vast their limitations are and therefore not su uh, surpass those limitations the accompanied card here that is going to be the two of wands so formation is active uh, active friends two of wands it does point uh, with the combination to the five of swords is um, rather expresses um, how do you say it? impatient urge want to make progress, all right? And while one has, or you guys have these awesome skills to be developed, all right? And uh, most likely you are sitting on good achievements with the Five of Swords, it doesn't look like that the time is yet around. And uh, that is well displayed here with the Queen of Pentacles, but we're gonna go there um, <clears throat> in a few minutes. So uh, the way I see it here, uh, that could be that, um, or uh, just to give you an example, um, let's say that you are performing very good at your career, you think that you do need that promotion, you want that promotion, you do deserve that promotion, and yet your boss doesn't give you that promotion. This is the, um, <clears throat> this is the expression of these couple of, oops, excuse me, of these couple of cards here, that you are, uh, the time hasn't came yet, you know, to make a severe progress moving on forward. And just because you may lack, you know, the opportunity for that progress, this could provoke rather frantic and in some cases, you know, very premature and stupid actions from your behalf. The challenge that you need to overcome here, this is going to be the moon card. And like I said, that is a, a card of insecurity. You know, you may start thinking, for example, that your relationship is very fragile. You may start thinking that your career is, um, <clears throat> is very fragile and it's on the verge of breaking. Not so, that, that comes not to no surprise due to the fact, you know, that you are performing very well and yet there is no progress moving on forward. So you may start thinking, you know, that someone wants to get rid of you, all right? Or as that your happiness does not reside into that direction that you're moving on. Additionally to that, the uh, moon card urges you to overcome your imagination because uh, this uh, with this card on a challenging position, you will be more prone to believe in the doom and gloom throughout the week rather than to have more positive outlook toward the um, toward your life in general. And lastly, with the moon card, there could be some gossips and rumors around, you know, and the challenge for you is not to pay attention to those gossips and rumors. The accompanied card that is to be the four of uh, the four of wands formation is passive enemies. And instead of focusing of, on, uh, basically what this card here points is that instead of concerning yourself with what could be, you should focus on what it is right now and work with what you have, all right? Um, as you guys know that I do like to play uh, video games. Anyway, there is a, a one character there, pretty tough guy, uh, who says, you know, I, you should not, the same thing, you know, you should not concern with what could be, all right, but focus on what is. And step by step, you know, you get to alter your future or create the best environment for oneself. And it is exactly what you need to do here throughout this week, April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. So the next card, which is the positive outlook of the week, that is to be the Queen of Pentacles. So manifestation wise, most likely a, a person here, very well found person, someone who, however, is deeply indulged within themselves. But what that person really does for you is making you aware of that you are having and an opportunity is here to for and explore. So you do have what more to accomplish into your current field without having that promotion, without having that engagement, you know, or without, uh, without a, um, kind of like executing your plans for progress. So, uh, what the, what I'm trying to say here is, is that you have, um, 
made even greater achievements that you are that you are aware of all right and you have not yet uh, consumed all fruits of your labor and that's why instead of with this card as a positive aspect instead of uh, trying to uh, to push on into a new direction you know or to make uh, any kind of uh, steps moving on forward into higher ladders uh, <clears throat> you can be lucrative and you can be successful into your current environment you should and you should aim to do that because as the uh, positive card the queen of pentacles really rely on a, a very well established foundation that is and before that queen moves on forward toward greater heights or toward new conquests that that queen always kind of like secures and settles everything that it is around her at that very moment leaving no matter un unattended the accompanied card that is to be the death card so uh, a very positive sign what we do have here this will this combination it is a, a passive uh, friends and it does point that should you do so you definitely will have a, a control upon rapidly looming change on the horizon that it is coming in your way simply you will be able to dictate the rules of how that change is gonna happen a month from now a couple of months months from now six months from now no longer than one year that is I mean the change that it is come around because tarot is for a fairly short period of time reading uh, at least according to my methods it doesn't go further than one year because I do have my own development of method for determining time and it can the time can be the time frame can be determined only within one year range so I do use tarot only for um, such kind of um, you know such kind of reading so yeah uh, that change we're seeing from these cards that is coming for uh, in within one year and in order for you to prepare yourself for it you should not leave things unattended that unattended that are around you and unfinished as well for example you know let's say you do have an ex and there are still things that you need to sort out with them you should try throughout this week you know to kind of establish contact for example you know or to sort those things out same thing goes career wise you you buy, you definitely guys know uh, which things around you or which enterprises around you are yet unfinished and that week is will be very productive for you to turn your glance upon these things and uh, try to attend to those important matters that are currently overlooked and the last card for you, Libras, this is going to be the Hierophant. So that is the uh, Guidance. And should you find yourself lost and baffled of what you need to do, the Hierophant points is that you can face or rather um, have a, a benevolent support throughout the week. Someone will teach you, someone will guide you, you know, throughout the midst of your uh, of your activities and throughout the midst of your problems. And as well, uh, uh, through the guidance and the consultations that you're going to have with this person that manifests itself as a Hierophant card, uh, it is likely that you're going to find out that your situation is not as tough as, as you think it is, it's not as, as painful as you think it is, it's not as difficult as you think it is. And actually, the resolution of your situation, and under a resolution, I don't speak only about resolving problems you know it could be that you are baffled which direction you should take you know which is not a problem i mean either direction is no problem it's not something poignant but you need to consult yourself with uh, with a faithful companion you know or with someone who is very wise to determine which direction you should uh, take from now on but what i'm trying to say here is is that your resolution resides in the framework of already existing events convictions and um, um you know enterprises as well uh the accompanied card that is to be the judgment and the formation is passive neutrals so uh basically uh, with these couple of cards as the judgment play a, a neutral car a neutral position it does point that you do have a um a right to make a decision how you should proceed on forward and additionally to that it makes these uh, consultations and these um how can i place it conversations as well having no such big impact to sway away your opinion for example therefore you're going to use them only uh with a a purpose of research a purpose of reconnoitering rather than the purpose of that someone needs to tell you what to do 
that being said, I see that you're going to obtain a different uh, point of view, but should you move into that direction with a different point of view, that entirely depends on you. But with that combination here, Libra, you need to know that this uh, support through a wisdom and conversation and, and counseling that you're going to get is not going to reveal the whole picture for you with the judgment sitting on a, on a neutral position. You will have to find your own personal way moving forward, but you can definitely, you know, take a, um, these advices um, and extract a very positive information from them. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly uh, tarot reading for April 29th to May 5th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.